From 60 plus to 200, that's the change in student population that the Stan Creek Institute for Technical and Vocational Education and Training has realized in two years. Manager Gwendolyn Garcia says that it's been a labor of love, but the institution has improved on the program that it offers. We have our full-time programs. We have um, electrical level one, level two. We have um, commercial food preparation. We have what we call a tourism course. We do commercial food prep, you do bartending, you do um, housekeeping, front desk reception, customer service. So we have, we have all that at a level one. And then if you, when you're finished with that, you do level twos. So we also offer short courses like adult caregiving. We're doing level two adult caregiving right now. We offer nail tech. So if you want to be a nail tech and make a lot of money doing things like this, <laughs> we, are, we offer that course as well. We offer AC and refrigeration technician course level two. We do that. We do automotive. So we do a whole lot here. Today, Prime Minister John Brissenio visited the institution and he did not arrive empty handed, but came bearing gifts. The Belize Social Investment Fund will be investing $1.3 million in improving and building the capacity of the Technical and Vocational Education Institute in Hope Creek. Starting next year, um, through the SIF um, um, program, we are going to be investing $1.3 million in equipment and upgrading in the facilities. When I look around and I see all the young people here, it excites me, it energizes me, and it makes me feel that the future of this country is in it's going to be in good hands, I know, so I'm very, very optimistic and very hopeful. You know, with some basic drainage, um, you know, this, this place uh, has huge potential. That's what was the intention of the original investment. And now we're finally beginning to use uh, this uh, facility and bring in the right people to empower young people. Dr. Louis Zabane, the Minister of State for Education, says that he's impressed so far with the improvements at the school, which was practically abandoned by the previous administration. The place had practically been abandoned. And uh, when we were given the mandate, we came, um, grateful to Minister Fonseca, to Minister Mai, uh, at ANRI, all our colleagues who have come together to be able to make this investment. So, yes, exciting things are going on. Our next two years, we're going to be focusing on single mothers and on young men who are unemployed. And ITVET will play a big role in empowering them. So you'll, we'll be able to see a lot more things happening here at ITVET. Twin Moody for News 5.